Well, Nicky kind of left a little early there, which is what I, I wanted to a give him a chance to give his own little like. I wanted I wanted to give him a chance to express his feelings about this game and also show off the jobs and challenges. Oh, what game uh, is this again? Sly three. Sly uh, the jobs three. And, <laughs> the jobs and challenges these, or Sly hat as you would. My the jobs and challenges. The jobs and challenges give uh, two things. One, they give you a chance to replay uh, missions from the game, and they also give you a chance to do bonus little uh, challenges like this one, which is I have to do that one part of that mission again, except on a time frame this time. Do we really want to do this again? I'm not showing up all of it. Besides, it's it, besides as you're seeing, it's it's not like the entire mission. It's just this one portion of it. No, I'm generally being facetious when I say that. Like, oh, sorry, Sly. In context of the Sly Gang, why would you want to do this again? It was hard enough I the first know. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, don't, but don't you want to relive those great memories? Oh, you forgot one you, on the wheel. Think... No, I got it. Anyways, I was about to say, don't you want to relive those epic, those epic adventures before you fake your amnesia? No. I got, and made, I out with, made out with, the, made out with, made out with a fox that chased you through your, throughout your career. Time. Devil, no. damn, you cut that one really close. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. So, so this is how you get all the other experience. I'm also gonna show off the treasure hunts because I do enjoy the treasure hunt Ooh. mechanic. They basically go to all. You get, you get to go to all the hub worlds, and they come up with a fun little uh, themed, a fun little themed treasure map to uh, to follow. And I, again, I like following the clues and stuff. Yo, but, uh, this is Cooper. Yeah. And we're back in Venice, Italy. Got to find the treasure. Boy, you ready? It's your boy Cooper. We gotta find. We gotta find the fabled Mama's pasta sauce. <sighs> we will find it. But yeah, back. To, yes. Okay. Here we go. Then blow. They blow. Dang the it, wind. fly it. Here, I thought you got over that phase of your life. Mm. 14 oh, you paces. Can't, but you can't tell me you're not at least morbidly curious. I'm like the you not, moon, Have you forgotten, time. Sly, that I'm a, I'm allergic to tomatoes? I, th I I was half expecting it to be along the lines of like last time I got curious, I lost my legs. <laughs> I also love I also love that now would be the perfect time to have Murray say, "Oh, yeast? I thought you said weast." I thought we already discussed the stroke in the last part. <laughs> Did we? Well, in the previous I part, at least. Did you guys do that on the? Did you guys do this on the pirate thingy without me? Not that I know. Of. What do we right. I, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Th th that portion, that Wait, whole man. portion of the game, kind of, that whole portion of our well commentary, kind of did just phase from my mind after I just, we finished. I want to point out something that I think is kind of lame. There, like we got through the paces. When we got to the end, all you do is just he gives off like a little like yeah, yeah. and that's it. Like you Ooh. don't even get any treasure. That's yeah, that is that is really lame. Okay, Those the one thing I didn't like stuff. about that one concept art with Cooper and the shadows, you couldn't tell him apart from the background that he was standing in oh, front of. Look at that of picture of the oh, They needed a highlight. So, but yeah, so before before the production of this game started, we had to give the guru a much needed uh, trim over. Yeah. Yeah. So while we're doing some of these, like, so here we have to go. Here we have to fall, go all the way to the guru's hideout in the time limit. So while, oh, oh, oh God! I did. And, there, and here comes magic. the green kangaroo with the with the, from, with, the, with, the with the freaking dog body. And here comes the down fist. Like he from grabbed downtown. you by the legs and just dragged you down off the tree. From downtown, as how, it were. How anyway. oddly appropriate, considering I distinctly remember when we had that WWE tangent here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're right. Oh. Hey guys! Oh, oh we're in the yeah, Scooby Doo thing! The Scooby Doo the, the, and the Jetsons. I still need to watch that one. The just Flintstones. Yeah. yeah. I think, but I think, I, again, I think the Jetsons one will be. Uh oh. Fear of Pounds. Also, that's I think why the Jetsons would be faster. The Jetsons one would be. Uh oh. I think the I think the Jetsons one would be like fun to like. I, I think that would have to be the best because it's the most self-awarely stupid. Oh yeah, no, it plays along with with the Jetsons' weaknesses and Doesn't just goes in full stride with it. So, anywho, uh, so Icky, uh, so we did not. Uh, so, she said you didn't get a chance to in the last part. So, what were your thoughts on all of slide three? <laughs> yes, Tigger sound, Tigger sound, notwithstanding. What exactly did you think? Like, did you like? Were there any bits of it that you thought it did better than other slide games? And of course, what parts you thought were kind of meh? I'm not gonna lie. I sincerely, I feel like my brain kind of turned off at points during this game because. We went through one, we went through two, which already left me kind of nipped, and then, mm -hmm. you know, all this, and don't forget, like, the several questions I brought up in terms of, like, how the game is really progressing. Right. If, you, if you'd like, I mean, genuinely just kind of tossing this up there as a suggestion, if you'd like, we could let you have a break for Sly 4, since that one doesn't do much better. 
Well, the thing is, I think Sly 4 does a little bit more interesting compared to the original trilogy. Like, it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like they're reusing assets over and over and over again. They're really not. Like I like I said, I do think from a gameplay structure, I think Sly 4 is somewhat better than this, just because it doesn't try to add too many weird... Or they don't try to be repetitive with its gimmicks. In fact, they kind of, like... I guess they streamline talk, it a little bit they, more. They not only streamline it, but they also sort of add upon, like, like well-established things that have already been in this like the franchise like well the fact that well spoiler warning for those that have never heard of the game before and been living under a rock you could get to play you get to play as a good handful of slice ancestors and even though they control pretty much in some ways control the same as sly they have their own unique gimmicks, gimmicks. on top of that which are pretty cool yeah in some regard in some in some regards that in some regards as i'm gonna say right now after having played the first uh chapter i can already say in some regards it actually i love how you can just see the things it's like yeah. it's like freaking emperor's new groove like where, wait what is leaving these i'm sorry real quick Bentley, what do you think of my new skirt the smell of lemonade <laughs> it's a little angular oh we're going to the lemonade bar anyway what was this oh they, they, they're on to us hurry oh, oh the fuzz <laughs> run, 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 God, run, 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 run. Run. and okay, he just so stopped following you yeah he gave up he's like oh he's in the middle of something oh, no! a there. oh god there's a new plan. New plan. Let's try that again. Anyway, okay. I've, Man, heard passion, back. I've heard of Bernie Passion for the Hunt, but that's ridiculous. This is there, ridiculous. That's a little, little bit of a messy line there, but it will make, we'll make do. It's my first great class. Anyway, going back to the topic of um, bees in time. Oh yes. Yeah, so, um, is that in some in some cases after the uh, in some cases uh, after they introduce the ancestor, they realize. Wow, he's basically just a better Sly. Let's stop giving Sly any missions to do. We'll still, we'll still give Murray and Bentley stuff to do, but Sly, eh. Well, the ancestor the could just do well, it. Well, in all fairness, I think... it's not. I would say throughout the chapter, Sly still gets his fair share, and unlike the actual ancestor, Sly actually does learn a few moves on like from them, and it just goes on from there. Like, with but the I ancestors, you only get to blaze them in their specific chapter. But they're still a little bit more interesting than what we've seen out of Sly. I mean... We kind of know everything we need to know about uh, Sly. Well, I know building off of this game, as you'll see later, I know building off of this game, the fourth game uh, emphasizes here we are. Here we have to uh, defeat Sal while taking double damage from him, so we gotta be oh, careful. Why? Right? It, it's a daredevil run. It's a hard thankfully, boss. Thankfully, thankfully they break this boss up into two fights, though. And, okay, no, sorry, not double damage, we're just at half health. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, mean... And no health checkpoints? Like honestly, the whole challenge, the whole challenge system of this game is you can sort of tell it was sort of like their only means of padding out game time, considering this it's last, this, this, it, this game's time. development only lasted about a year. It feels very last minute when you really. Look it explains why so many elements feel very similar to the uh, first game. Mm -hmm. Well, not the first game, Absolutely. but like the previous title. Oh, Ouch. and down but, but, you go. But no. But no, you're right. Looking at Sly's model, he looks just like Sly Two. Which I mean, that, I mean, that, probably I mean, is Sly Two. I mean, reusing the slime model and all that, I, I mean, I can live with that. It's just that I'm more so just talking about the fact that, well, I mean, outside of the chapters, like, the only real extra stuff you have in the game is just these challenges, which is, for the most part, are just repeats. I mean, it's fun to have, like, a challenge mode, but at least give you something, you know, to earn out of it. Well, I'm it's still... funny you mention that, Luigi, because technically you do get a couple of neat perks after you've cleared a good chunk of these challenges. Uh, so, so again, for so again, around like twenty-five or fifty percent, you get the first half of a bonus story we'll be watching. At seventy-five percent, you get the second half of that story. Uh, at ninety percent, you get a cool making of series that goes all the way back to Sly One, talking about how they came up with the franchise to begin with. And then at one hundred percent, you get something completely useless. But what do you get for one hundred percent? I still a music video. Oh, I still starring think, to be starring to be tree. Oh, it, it, it's it, and it looks like it's made in like '90s movie maker. I still am. I'm if they're looking for things to pad out the game with, I'm still astonished they didn't make like clue bottles a thing again. Well, I mean, wait, they I'm didn't? not gonna. Yeah, they didn't nope, bring back clue this bottles game. in this like game, which I mean. I'm not going to miss words. I don't really miss that system in this game. Okay, good. I mean, that's, like the one thing, the whole that's like the one omission I could totally for, I could totally forgive. But it's like, mm -hmm. other than that, yeah. Just, there's not as many chapters, and, well, they try to pad out the time with all this stuff. <laughs> and mainly when it comes to these treasure maps, I kind of wish there were more interesting landmarks to try and visit. Like yeah, visual like, clues. Or, you know, just give us like some neat little treasure after you after you get them like maybe a uh, golden nozzle statue 
I can see that. What the fuck is an Otzel? <laughs> and I only say that because technically they actually did ma give, you, give you a golden Otzel statue in the fourth game. And a, a tiny little tin can robot. Hmm. Hmm. Well, rather perplexing. Hmm. Excuse me? I'm in the mood of treasure hunting? <laughs> no pigs allowed. So, anyways, it's what was I saying? So then, um... So again, I... Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, the smaller ah. one that got caught knows of you. He's trying to interrupt our good times. And the big one caught me. Die. He wants 50% or more. I'm gonna just do the electrical... Electrical attack oh. kills these guys one hit. It's so good. Oh, jeez, he exploded. So what the good. The electrical attack did. I didn't know it would make him explode. Then get rid of Bill. <laughs> I mean, oh, is, that the worst, is that the worst thing we've done throughout this entire franchise? Sheesh, these no, guys are everywhere, though. So, I would say, um... That's what I was gonna say. So, I... I'm hopeful for Sly 4. I'm looking forward to when we when we touch upon it. I think as far as this trilogy goes with its story, I, I'm gonna say still, like, 11, 12-year-old me was pretty content with how this trilogy ended. I was fine with it. I enjoyed it. I more or less felt the same way, even though I I was, I did, I totally... Ooh, bonus was, movies. I was completely fine with, oh, here we go, boys, time to see the epic adventures of Sly and his friend, as in, in his amazing friends. Party. Sorry, we'll, sorry we'll, we'll talk more about it after the video. I... Or hi, Jai, the James. Look, it's Raleigh. Oh, it's all their stuff they stole. Meanwhile, in Gay Paris, it was a nice, fun day. Warm sunshine. When we found night. something in the newspaper. Bavarian, the most expensivest. Freaking these writers. <laughs> Unbelievably yummy. And of course, Inspector Fox has been hired as the head of security. But we want that chocolate to sell. So what does the Thieves Raccoonus say um, about chocolate allergies? You, you what does sell, the Encyclopedia Contania? Disguises, deception, and charm. Taught ah. by Thaddeus oh. Winslow Cooper the Third. Did we Why? ever see okay. him in the? Did we ever see him in the vault? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, we, yeah did. we did. He's the brick. Ah. And so okay. we did. And so we make a plan to use disguise. By the, yes, by, the way, Bentley's in, by the way, Bentley's in his wheelchair. So yeah, I was about to say. By all accounts, exactly... this should be considered non-canon. Well, I was more so wondering, like, if he did have to peg this as canon, where would this take place within the series? I really I don't. I guess it'd have to be... Probably sometime it, during it, the first, uh, yeah, game, it, it'd actually. Yeah, it'd have to be just before... But, hey, no, be, he's in not, the wheelchair. No, no. It, right. it would have to be just... It would have to be just before the... I guess it would have to be just before the Australian thing, and maybe... Maybe Murray tries one heist with him just to see what it's like, and that's when he was like, I don't know about and this. The and audience that's are just, and the audience are just all, shut up and just enjoy the show. <laughs> Okay, oh. so yep, currently has her mercenary, so it's definitely Sly 3 ish. Wait, no, they're yeah. not monkeys. There are gorillas, they're Thanos. Yeah, exactly. They're, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're Thanos gorillas. They even got I the chin. Right? Ooh. When did our Big goggles chocolate. become x ray? There's Carmen Sandy. Oh, it's, just a little, it's a little addition I added on just recently. Murray, don your disguise. I'm on it. Why, hello there. Oh, wait. This is, some your hat. Dude, this is some serious Jumba and Pleakley shit going on here. Don't forget except your hat, dude. Except it's the fat one that's the cross dresser. Yeah. That's true. So, Actually, I wonder no, which train thinking. car has the chocolate in it. Mm. 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 Could it be you, say jump up, you say jump on Pleakley, now I'm just thinking, like, Actually, she's just ugly. <laughs> I ugly? Forgot about that. Friendly, I forgot. How could you say that about your wife? Uh, and she's got the key to the cell, and <gasps> time to lay on the charm. Hello, my oh, name is Thaddeus. God, Thaddeus Kupinus. <sighs> That's a face you should punch. And uh -oh. Sylvester Kupinus. <gasps> uh oh. Dun dun. I mean, it is beautiful, but. How dare you? Of course. I win this round. Yoink. And the only way she knows it slides because she, he has a fucking ring tail. Okay, so she believes every raccoon in this stupid animal world is a. Yeah, and, this, and oh. right. And, and right there it would oh, have this. been Act One done, but now we're at Act Two and <laughs> so yeah. Now, now, now we are officially in Act Two because otherwise the video would have stopped after yeah. Carbon. Oh, and that oh, so it's like the right Mischief Makers here. credits. Pretty much. Sorry. Go ahead, James. Never mind. I was just gonna. All I was gonna say is that that photo is going right on the fridge. We don't even have a fridge. And the chocolate is ours. We can't oh, even get this cool. Oh. Okay, never mind. We roof. didn't get the chocolate. To the roof, quickly. Whoop. Where's Bentley? Oh, I'm still down here. He can't right. climb ladders. So, well, I know. Oh, I, this is gonna end. 
I know the perfect way to save on animation. Into the it's the, open, it's the opening of Raymond Origins all over again. Oh, it's a uh, PowerPoint present. Well, no, it's um. Eh. I don't even know. Sly, how it Sly, fits. how dare you, ma Sly, how dare you manipulate the rules of animation? How can the chocolate Still stay in motion like that? Can't hit. We can't see. Oh. How, it, how hasn't it slipped already? Why does a train car require a computer hacked lock? Why do they have to the protect future. a bar of chocolate? Goodbye, well, Carmelita. Carmelita, there's still. Carmelita, there's another tunnel. <clears throat> Wait, you'll pay so... for this, Cooper. Stolen by Sly I'm... Cooper gang. No comment. Aww. And oh, thus they enjoy a, a heartily delicious and expensive meal. It tastes tastes better when you steal it. Congratulations, Cooper. You're under uh, surveillance of theft for stealing a fucking chocolate bar. Worth every bite. It was worth every bite. Unfortunate. And the sad part is, it was a one of a kind. And at this point, I guess I'll take that one quote from the trailer. Why can't we just order pizza like normal people? <laughs> Why can't they order pizza? Rest, rest in peace, that movie. Rest in pizza. I, I still think that would have been interesting. I genuinely... Murray's design was a little bit off until I realized that actually is pretty spot on to how he looks in Sly 4. Aside from the fact yeah. he's wearing pants. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, if you think about it... I would have to wear pants. And actually, Chuck just Kimmel. going on to Benley, I would say, with the exception of the fact that you can see through his glasses, he probably looks the most on point to how his in-game model looks. Well, look, and, and again, I genuinely am hap I'm happy. Okay, Kevin's Kevin's voice work notwithstanding, I it was like I could still see his voice being the one that like you know you could mix and you could intermix ones, and I think the guy that they got for the movie trailer was still I, I could have accepted him as Sly. I honestly, yeah. I honestly, God would have would have accepted it more if the other two act well actors that have been in the franchise since its inception weren't there to supply their roles. That's just why I find it all the more jarring. I mean, because you may as well just go on the full. I don't know. Did they ever explain why they didn't get Kevin for that? I feel like he, got, might he have went been to the Trump time. Maybe. I mean, he does still. He did have his second best podcast around that time. True. Or maybe and, that was something uh, that it was before. Well, I don't know. He was busy. That's know. the that's the old line. But um. On that and note, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much the majority of what to expect from Sly 3. Yep, that is, and with that, that concludes our uh, look at the PS2 trilogy. What could we and, can uh, uh, what can we expect in the next game? A uh, very, very decently introduced world, definitely taking advantage of the PS3's increased hardware. Story-wise... And, and, and not so herky-jerk animations. And oh. unfortunately, though, story-wise... It's gonna it's be a bit stupid. polarizing. It's, it's gonna be very. It's it's just stu it's just stupid. We'll it's a it. video game. People are going. It's annoying. like, you say it's stupid. To be fair, every other game has kind of had its own share of stupidity. Not to but mention it's just, a this video just, game. Well, it, this just tops them all. But we'll get more into that when we actually get to Sly Cooper: Thieves in Time. Thieves in Time. I thought that was a punchline. Yes, thank but, you, everybody. Put Enjoy put traveled through time. Yes. And look what happened to him. Oh. Oh no. On that note, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, I'm Jay's Bay Extreme. <laughs> I'm Lucky Jack 20. Okay. So what, what do you got? One of you guys has got to go next. Icky, say your thing. Uh, uh my thing. Yes. And where we're going, we don't need roads. We're apparently competent riders. Or pants, for that matter. Till next <laughs> time, everybody. You guys sick of me.